If you're watching this video, then you probably already discovered that tiny insects can fit inside of your computer screen between the outer layer that you can touch and an inner layer that forms the images that you actually see as your screen. Now, sometimes you'll find the bugs when they're still alive and you'll see them crawling around and it's pretty gross. But usually you'll find them after they've already died and it seems like they're stuck in there forever. You can try plucking or tapping them and uh, oftentimes they'll, they'll just stay put. You may think the only way to solve this is to take your computer monitor apart to somehow separate the two screen layers and get the bugs out of there. But I actually found a way that keeps your computer monitor in one piece and all you need is an electronic vibrating toothbrush. And use that to cause vibrations to dislodge the insects from where they're stuck in the screen. The method I found that works the best is to actually keep the cap of the toothbrush on the brush itself so that at least you're not using the toothbrush that you put in your mouth on your screen. Instead of applying the vibrations directly to the spot where the bug is, I found more success with using the brush a little distance away from where the bug actually is. It takes a bit of trial and error, but what you're trying to do is find the exact spot that's going to cause the right vibration to dislodge the insect from where it's stuck inside your screen. You may have to apply the brush at different spots, different distances away from the bug, maybe below it, above it, to the side, do different motions. Try rotating which part of the brush head you're actually touching the screen with. I found that the louder and noisier of the vibrations that I'm making with the toothbrush against the screen, the better results I tended to have. Sometimes the bug won't move at all for a long time, but you just have to keep trying different points on the screen. You're hopefully going to find the right spot that starts to get the insect moving. And once it starts moving, sometimes it moves a lot in one go and you really just have to kind of chase after it, keep finding that, that right spot that keeps it moving. Once you've gotten it all the way to the edge of your screen and out of view, well that's it. You've, you've gotten rid of the bug and good job. If you still have a bug that just will not move, you can try taking off the protective cover from the head of your toothbrush and use the back of the toothbrush, not the bristle part, uh, but that seems to have more force behind it than when you have the cap on. What's worked for me is applying that directly to where the bug is and a little bit around it. And slightly pushing it against the screen as it's vibrating tends to help dislodge the bug even more. Once you've tried that for a while, then put the cap back on and then go back to the way we talked about before where you're pressing the brush around where the insect is and not directly at it. As a last ditch effort, you can actually try smacking the top of your computer monitor because after all these vibrations have been wiggling the insect around inside, sometimes it's just enough to give it a good hard smack and uh, it'll actually make the insect move downward. And then once you have it moving, you can go back to using the toothbrush with the cap on. Now once you've gotten all the bugs out of your computer screen, uh, it's a good idea to go ahead and wash your toothbrush because uh, hygiene's important. Hopefully this method works for you, and good luck.